before I get started, there's a few things I need to get out to make sure that everyone is on the same boat. Um, or at least have an understand what is going on here. So I have a two display. So one display will be my drawing pad and then the other one will be my monitor. So one of the problems I was running into is the fact that as soon as I install the operating system, the pen would not recognize on the tablet. To fix that problem, to have like some sort of input to understand how it works, one of the things I have done is uh, is able to go to the settings and what I end up doing is um, going down on the setting tabs there's a section called graphics tablet don't bother with that because that one is I don't know what it's for I, I, I just find it completely useless I don't know what Link Smith is thinking when he did when they put that in but if you go to the mouse and touchpad, now this is where things get really, really good. If you move over to the touchpad, you'll notice on the top section where it says enable touchpad, this was turned off. Okay, and this is why just your stylus is not registering on this. If you turn it on, believe it or not, sooner or later, you're gonna find out that the stylus is working. And this is not done by my mouse, this is actually done by my pen. Now, the setup to get this to work is, is going to be very different for each person because their setup and their, and their um, the way to get things done are very different. So if you are using this art tablet as a single display that you don't have an additional monitor and this is the one and only, then you don't need to calibrate anything or so. But if you have a two display, one thing you're going to know is as soon as you enable that touch functionality that the calibration on this is way off you might start from the very left but as you travel across through the uh through the 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 drawing pad you're going to end up finding that the cursor will be at the other screen before you even get halfway through so i'm going to show you how to take care of that problem this is for people now to have a, a two display those who have using the art the art, art pad as its only display guys are good at least I, at least for the xp maybe if you want i don't know i know the xp pen works so what i'm going to end up doing i'm going to um show you one of the things i end up doing so on the terminal itself bear with me What I end up doing is I have to add a few commands to make it work. So one of them, so one of them, uh, it has to go. You have to use sudo and go to your root. All right, and then it'll ask you for your password. Once you're you're at the root on the terminal, then you want to use x brand r and the reason for that because this will show you what are the difference of your display to identify them so as you can see the dvi i1 is my my main monitor it's not my just my drawing tablet it's just a monitor my second one here is the dvi i2 that is my drawing tablet that's my xp pen so remember your identification to know which one it is it might say dvi it might say vga it might say usb it might say hdmi it might say display port whatever the, the the connection the resolution of your tablet recognize it or what why uh recognize it and write it down so the next one we're going to do is we're going to go to x input now this one's very important as you can see on the top here it says virtual core pointer um you have all these different things that are going on here like usb keyboard the mouse everything as a pointer this one even though you'll see two tablets it's a ug tablet 15.6 inch on both they're, they're both a pen display but you want to go under pen parentheses now ug i'm i'm thinking it stands for universal graphic 
uh, tablet. You know, just put it out there. I think that's what it means. But the most important, it's right next to it. It says ID, identification of what you're trying to do. Right now, my number is 18. So what you want to do is you want to put those two, the DVI or whatever your connection is, and your ID hardware, uh, my, this 18, mine's going to look like this. When I hit enter, it's going to accept and recalibrate everything what's going on. Now you should be able to take your pen and go over. So once I'm able to get that to work, let me go ahead and guys out of the way. So you'll you'll see what's going on. Now I'm gonna go and start. Now check this out. So that way you see what's going on. I'm gonna show you that the sensitivity works perfectly fine. And also all the hotkeys that are on this, you have the undo. Okay, and, and now these hotkeys, you can set them in any way you want. I'm using Krita as an application because it's native and it's a free art program. Now, if you want to do like uh, the Photoshop, I think you have to use Wine and that could be tricky. But if you have, if you guys can figure this out, more power to you. But I want to help those who are trying to just get something going. Krita is probably the best application you can use. Um, the second button I set up is to keep the canvas uh, in a correct format. So that way you'll see the whole entire artwork. The third button I have set up is to flip the image. The fourth one is to allow me to drag it. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the second one to correct the image. The uh, fifth button allowed me to rotate the canvas in any way I want. And the last one, the most important one, of course, is to allow me to zoom in. Now, the other one I have is to allow me to uh, uh, map the first click on the pen itself. So I have it where I can click it and this pops up. Again, you can map this thing to anything. You can make this one whatever you want and those other keys whatever you want. But you are not able to control the last button of the of this palace. You can also use the keyboard, totally fine. Um, it's just something again. I just I wanted to show you guys that this works perfectly fine. I have no issue whatsoever. And I think the other one they're talking about is the I don't know if the term is correct, but parallax. I think where it's they're telling you that the pointer it's not matched with the, the actual. Uh, circle that's on the um, the screen like it's always like a hair off or something but I think on Linux Mint there is no problem whatsoever or at least I don't see it I did take notice when I had Windows but on Linux Mint it works perfectly fine I have no issue um, again this is something that I want to show so you guys can understand that um, you know there is other ways to get this to work and again i didn't use no funny apps i have i didn't use any um wine programs or anything it's just pretty much what's in the operating system it's all already there you just gotta use those two commands if you're using multiple displays if you're only using the art display by itself it's going to work automatically on its own so i just wanted to show that to you guys if you have any questions or you want to put some comments below please put it there be nice um, and share this to other people. XP Pen, if you have another tablet, you want me to test it running on Linux, send it to me and I'll let you know how it works. All right, guys, take care.